Yo, what is up guys, EXOBLITION here, and uh, today I'm gonna do another commentary video, ain't that just great and jolly. So basically, it's another one of those extreme cheapskate ones, and uh, just like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Well, I'm just gonna hop right into this. If this video hits 10 likes in the first 24 hours, I will give everyone a cookie. Legally, I have to say that that's not true, but it is true. Okay, let's just start. What's up, man? Oh, my brother Justin uses free guest passes with my membership. Free guest passes are for people that actually want to go to the gym to use to go to the gym. <laughs> I don't go to work out, so everyone knows that, so just to get the free stuff. The gym is awesome. Every time I go to the gym, uh, I use the towels, take some clean ones, drop off the dirty ones. I mean, you can't beat it. You gotta return them. I don't steal, <laughs> you know. I consider it borrowing. All right, so you go to the gym with a free guest pass. That's literally perfectly fine. That's great. You're gonna go to work out. You're gonna get yourself ripped like that one wrestler on guy on the last episode. And, yeah, you're just going to the gym. But the problem is, you're not going there to work out. You're just there to, like, take some towels for a while, you know. And then you'll return them in, like, two weeks, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I mean, I mean, hey, it's free stuff, kind of. But you aren't really supposed to take it. But you know what? That's not super bad. I could see some just normal cheapskate families doing that. For the most part. That's what I would consider it borrowing. Yep. I use the gym shower when I go in here. I do my laundry, which is also an excellent perk by the gym. This is 100 million times better than a washing machine. It's more effective you get the hands in there. Because washing machine only gets so much. You yourself can. Get in there like the old days, you see? <laughs> Perfect. It's just ridiculous on people, the ways people don't know how they can save money. Nah, it doesn't make any sense to do laundry at home. <laughs> but you can do it here for free. I've unplugged the washing machine and dryer a long time ago. I saved my family about $7,500 a month, around that, roughly. All right, you know, in this case, he's using the shower at the gym, perfectly fine. And he's washing his clothes in it. I mean, hey, you don't have to use a washing machine. I mean, you can just wash them with your hands and put it out to dry outside. But I feel like that wouldn't be as effective as just using a washing machine and a dryer. You got hand sanitizer everywhere, the hospitals. Schools, anywhere you go, I just walk in there and get some free hand sanitizer. I'm gonna buy soap for us. Ridiculous. <laughs> the hand sanitizer is for members, but he's not even a member. Every time I go to the gym, I try to not use the hand sanitizer to make up for him. Justin takes advantage of his brother's guest pass privileges. You know, we just have to really honor it, so there's nothing really I can do. All right, so this next thing, uh, you know, this is pretty nice. Um, so, you know, there's hand sanitizer in schools and hospitals, basically everywhere. And when I... Crap, my mic just fell. When, you know, when I was a kid, I used to mix soap with water because I thought I was like some kind of weird chemist. And basically, I used to make soapy water, and then I'd wash my hands with it. Which, I just did that for fun. I didn't do it because I was trying to save money. But this guy doesn't even make soapy water. He does hand sanitizer water. Justin first started saving, he only did little things, like coupons and looking up sales in the newspaper. He did normal things. Once I started saving money, I wanted to see how deep I can go with saving money. No, I never use a dryer. Too much electricity. Yeah, saving became like a challenge just to see like how much more I could save. Like it just came like a, a addiction, you know. Doing this right here is the most effective way to cut down on the on the, on the light bill. Over time, just his need to save money just got bigger and bigger and bigger. All right, so right here is just fine, you know. He's just 
Right now, what he's doing is just setting clothes out to dry. A lot of people do that. That's fine, you know. In couponing, that's great. You're saving money. So this guy, he isn't that bad so far, but I feel like it's slowly going to get worse. I have no idea how Justin got to this point at all. I started looking for a job about a month ago. I would never spend money on a, on a new suit for a job interview. I got plenty of hand-me-downs down here somewhere. My uncle has suits down here. My brother got suits down here. Somebody, my grandfather probably got one down here somewhere. Justin doesn't want to buy a suit, so he has to wear one of my suits. I'm bigger than him. This is not going to look right. Don't want me to go spend money. The average cost of alterations for a man's suit could probably be anywhere from 60 to $100, which is... <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. Mm. Huh? OK. Who needs fancy alterations when you got your mom and a couple safety pins? <laughs> you know how to do this, mom? Pin, just pin it up a little bit for me? I think Justin would stop being cheap when he finds a good job. All right, he's wearing hand-me-downs. That's perfectly OK. I'm fine with hand-me-downs. Like, that's a nice way to save money, and you're getting nice clothes that fit you. That's great, you know? So let, let, let's continue and see how bad it gets. I need toothpaste, tissue, and a towel. OK. <laughs> My brother, he thinks he's saving his money by taking everything in the house, locking it away, and we have to take poker chips and exchange it for goods. We don't waste anything around here, and this is how we keep track of it. It's the perfect way to do it. I can't see no better way. Every month, Justin gives us 45 chips for the month, and so everything that we need, we have to choose wisely. You know, toothpaste, go ahead and get a quarter size glob, it's one chip. That's it. That should last you at least three days right there. <laughs> one chip, mouthwash, you know? It is what it is. If you use this right, it shouldn't have a problem. After those 45 chips are gone, they're gone. One particular month, I needed Q-tips, and he would not give them to me because I didn't have enough chips left. <laughs> oh, the system's working pretty good. I mean, my mom and my brother really not, really not uh, feeling it too much, but... um. I think the system that Justin has is a cost savings, but it's actually a nuisance. So he's basically taking over the household. He's stealing all the items they buy, and then he's putting them in a store where people have to pay him poker chips to get stuff. Which, at this point, I just take over and tell him to stop. But, I mean, his family seems perfectly fine with it. I'm not sure why, but you know what? That's okay. You're being, quote-unquote, creative. All right, so he's basically, like, one cup of mouthwash, which you can probably use for only, like, a day or two, is one chip. That's pretty, like, not... It's not a good deal. I'm just gonna say it right now, man. You're, you gotta make it, like, a bottle, like, half... Like, a quarter of a bottle for one chip. Not only are the household goods on lockdown... The water's on lockdown, also. Oh. Every other day, I come fill up the water bottles at the nearby park, fill up the water we use for the house. I mean, we pay city taxes, so why not get water from the city park? You know, I mean, <laughs> what, what more sense does it make? <laughs> Justin will go in zero degree weather and go fetch water from the park if it's not frozen. He he come back and melt it probably. Getting water from the park actually does save us a lot of money on water bills. Whether they believe it or not, they think it's kind of crazy, but not me. Saves us great money. All right, so he goes to the park. It's fine if you go to the park to wash your hands or if you just want to get a drink at like a water fountain at the park if you're thirsty, but that, that, that's all fine. But this guy literally had everyone in his household stop using sinks and anything that uses water, and he goes to the park and uses like... 20 liters of water and then that's all they have for the um that's all they have for like a month probably you do know the average american household with like a family in it uses 210 gallons of water a day with stuff like drinks flushing the toilets showers all that you know and he probably spends zero, which, you know, 
That's probably not a good thing. The average water bill for a three-person household in Detroit is around $75 a month. By using water from the nearby park, Justin's family pays less than half that. Justin removed all the shower heads, duct taped all the water faucets in the house, so we have to use water bottles. We don't use that. This wastes way too much money. This is the most effective way to do this right here. Got soapy water, you got your rinsey water. Justin's bottle water system is a joke. Justin has made uh, bottles of water and put a little sanitizer in the water bottles. This does not work. The soap substitutes do not work very well. So basically his system is you wash your hands with soapy water and you shower with soapy water and then you wash it down with normal water. Which, by the way, this soapy water thing literally has like an eighth of a shot glass of hand sanitizer in it. It's literally like if you drank that entire two liter of water... With the amount of hand sanitizer that's in that two liter, you wouldn't even get an upset stomach. That's that's just an excuse for like saving money. Like water bills, they can be atrocious sometimes, but that's just because some people use them way too much. Just cut down on how much you use the water. The first water station that we have is the kitchen. Obviously, you put soap water on the dishes, you rinse it off with the rinse water. Simple. Go to the bathroom, you have the same thing. Soapy water. Rinse water. It's like, it's not enough water to rinse anything, you know? You have to be very careful which water to use, because you don't want to use the soapy water to rinse your mouth. It's just it's not a good idea. <laughs> as far as the whole water system goes, my mom is totally against it. She does not take it. Because I have refused to use this water method of Justin's, he's allowed me to take a bath. This red tape line that he's put in here, I have to use only use that amount of water. Literally, it's just not enough in here to take a bath. A regular bath uses about 30, 40 gallons of water. My little red line in the bathtub cuts it to about 15 gallons, which uh, saves about half on the bill. I think Justin would stop being cheap when he finds a good job. Or if he doesn't stop being cheap, hopefully he would just move out. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> and that is the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. This guy, like, he isn't that bad until you run into the water problem. Like, he isn't cheap with basically anything besides water. Like, he'll go to the park to get water. He doesn't even let his mom bathe with, like, more than 15 gallons of water. It's just pretty weird. But anyways, this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And, yeah, uh, tell people about my YouTube channel. Because I want to hit 400 subs by the end, by at least Thanksgiving, and then 500 by the end of the year if possible. I just need YouTube to give me my streaming abilities back. But, anyways, I'll see y'all later. Peace.